Steak sandwich is a poor substitute. It's what I really want right now. It's an extra dry double martini, straight up. No olives, no onions, no lemon, no kidding. Things went that well with Dorian. <laughs> it's not just about Dorian, it's about me. Well, maybe things are finally rubbing off. People's pleas and cajoling and their threats only make me more stubborn about facing my own problems. So what do I do? I jump right in and do the same thing to Dorian. She needs to deal with her demons on her own, without me. Well, there's a big step. Yeah, right. It only took a pint of gin for me to get up the courage to tell her that last night. The important thing is you did. Yeah, but, Mom, she totally misinterpreted me. She stormed off. And if there's one thing I want to do more than have a drink right now, it's be the crusader and jump back in there and fix it. Of course, because that'll take the focus of dealing with your own problems, which keep growing. Dr. Moore, well, Mel. Hi. Ah. All right. Son, don't stay out too late. Oh, God. My mother. Mm. You know, a bar is the last place I thought we'd find you after last night. Well, I'm having my dinner, not drinking my dinner. Uh, Mel, have you seen my mother? No. Isn't she at home? No. Cass, Dorian has a lot on her plate right now. I think it's important that she deal with it by herself. But, Mel, no one's seen her today. And she didn't sleep in her bed last night. Uh, was she with you? No. I was alone. Then where is she? She's a logical, organized woman. If we make a list of the places she might be, we'll find her. He's right. I mean, she could have spent the evening at her office. She might have taken a trip up to the ski lodge. Kevin! Come over here. I'll be right back. Don't hurt yourself. I think I was tough on Dorian at exactly the moment she needed me the most. And where the hell is she? Mel, I am just as responsible. My mother left you, she came to me. And I told her she didn't know the meaning of unconditional love. Okay, oh, enough. Right. Please. Neither of you are responsible for Dorian's basic problems. And Mel, you're right. She has to deal with them on her own. I learned that the hard way with my mother. Why, Kevin, I can't pretend that everything's just fine. I can't ignore the fact that my mother is... I don't know where, and God knows what could happen. I'm not saying that. Okay? Now, Cassie, first things first, all right? Nobody has seen your mother in a little over 24 hours now. So technically, she's a missing person. We ask for Bo's help. She's missing. Would you put out an APB and start a search? Wait, wait, let's slow down here now. Let's start at the beginning. Okay? Dorian was upset. She was angry at me for my behavior last night, added to the certain family problems of her own. Okay, what kind of problems? Is this what you meant when you said Dorian had big troubles? Yeah. What kind of problems? I was uh, pressuring Dorian to uh, face uh, certain unpleasant truths about her past, and I think I pressured her too much. Well, facing the truth is not Dorian's strong suit. And, and then after she saw Mel, she came over to the carriage house, and if I had recognized what a fragile state she was Cassie, in... it's not your fault. I said a few things that might have put her over the edge. Yeah, things that she provoked. Listen, stop it. Stop it. Okay? She left, and no one has heard from her since. Her right. car's gone, Bo. Okay. We've called everyone that we know. Time out. All right? Now, look. Cassie. Mothers and daughters, they fight. It's just, it's genetic. Nora and Rachel explained that to me umpteen times. And Mel, the first thing you said was that Dorian was mad at you for getting arrested and ended up in jail. So maybe she just took off someplace to cool off. You know, a spa or something like that. She would have left word. Maybe she's just trying to teach you a lesson. Bo, I know my mother. I know how manipulative she can be. But I also know that she has been missing for 24 hours. And the police can... Start a search at that point, please. Yes, of course mothers and daughters fight. But they also have this sort of telepathic bond, and I know that my mother is in danger. Reacting, but I do understand, so I'm going to go up and call in the APB. Thank you. Uh, told you Bo comes through for his friends. Yeah, but the important thing here is to take his advice, okay? No jumping to conclusions. Look, I don't know what these family problems are, but I do know Dorian. And she has an amazing instinct for self-preservation. She would not put herself in any kind of danger. At least not any more danger than she could handle. I want to believe that. I've just never seen my mother this vulnerable before. Yeah. I hope Nora's right. Good morning. Oh, 
Actually, it's lousy. This uh -huh. is a day fit for ducks, fools, and Englishmen. Obviously, you're none of the above. Oh, that's debatable. I needed to see you because uh, I'm going to have a meeting with the Kramer cousins in a little bit, and I needed to know if you could give me a Dorian update. No, nothing yet. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, too. Because I have a feeling that this time, no news is going to be really bad news. Yeah, well, look, stay on it, Benny, okay? You hear anything at all, I want you to let me know. Okay, thanks. Nothing on Dorian so far. My guys have checked the bus stations, train stations. Dorian on a bus? I'm sorry. No, 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 I agree. It does give one pause. Yeah, nobody spotted her car anywhere either, unless it's magically reappeared at her house. Well, I wish it had, because it's beginning to look more and more like she jumped into it and took off somewhere which scares the hell out of me, considering the state of mind she was in the last time I saw her. Listen, I, I know this is going to sound mean under the circumstances, but, you know, Dorian has been known to manipulate people by scaring them half to death. Well, I dearly wish I could believe that's what she had in mind, but I don't think she was thinking that clearly, Nora. Good. Good. Then she's driving herself by instinct alone, and that means Miss Lord will never take that path of self-destruction. Even if she's out of control? Mel, I told you this last night. I've known Dorian for a long time and in some pretty hairy situations, and I have never, ever seen her in an out-of-control mode, even when it appeared to be that way. I'm with Nora. On this one, you know, I, th I think if Dorian felt like she was being pressure cooked, she probably just got out of the kitchen. Yeah, but have you ever known her to retreat from the line of battle? Ah, a whole new tactic for her. My advice would be to sit tight. Okay, let us do the looking. <sighs> that would be my advice, too. Come on, hang in there, pal. And would you pass that along to the Kramer girls, too, please? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks. We'll see you guys. Stay dry. Yeah. I got that there's no news from Dorian. I'm sorry, honey. I know this is unnerving. I've just come from Bo. At least the police haven't turned up anything dire. That's my backward way of trying to reassure you. That helps. Thanks. Does it? Am I wrong, or do you have something else on your mind besides Dorian? I shouldn't, should I? You know, I mean, here we are in the middle of our whole family being in a crisis, and all I'm worried about is my own concerns. Ah. Huh. Well, welcome to humanity. We'll have one sane Kramer woman. Don't, please. Face reality, Kelly. So, any word on Dorian? No. Glanview police haven't come up with anything. I'm still hoping she got in the car, took a long drive to think things through. Now there's bad weather on the way. All the rain here has been snow in the Midwest. She shouldn't be driving, especially if she's upset. Dorian's tough. She's not going to let a nasty stretch of weather get in her way. And if she's too emotional, she'll be smart enough to get off the road. <laughs>